Hey, what's up? You know it's me, Nick the Bandit here. And today, I'm kind of going to go on a rant. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to talk about something like back in the No More Heroes video. Um, it was something else that I think Suda51 is working on. I'm not entirely sure. I think he's working on it. Yeah, I think he is. And kind of how the project's turned out. It's kind of bugged me for the last... <laughs> like, since E3 has been bugging me. And it's, it's just... I kind of don't understand... I understand... It kind of... I kind of understand where it's coming from. From a creative standpoint. But just I guess because of how I felt about it, about the game at the time like it looked really cool if you haven't realized what I'm talking about I'm talking about when 251 brought out the thing this game called let it die yes let it die a free to play game for the PS4 and I now object of let it die is to pretty much date you would start off with nothing. You got your own person, own avatar. You would create, you would have your own person. You would go out and kill other players. You start off with nothing, like you would just pretty much be a player with your bare hands. And then as you progressed, in a sense, you would get more objects, more weapons to use. So. You can kill your enemies in different ways. And that's the all around aspect of what Let It Die is. To die over and over again so that way you learn from your mistakes and get new things at the same damn time. And like I said, Let It Die is an okay game. It's great and all. It's very great. It's good. It's good. I like it. But at the same time. <laughs> Since 251 was there, people were wanting to ask what happened to Lily Baragama. Yeah, Lily Baragama. People wanted to ask what happened to it. And, like, the answer to that was pretty much this Let it die. Be I evolved from Lily Baragama. So Lily Baragamo is no more Lily Baragamo is now Let It Die. And I was just kind of, I was very mad and I was kind of shocked. It was just the simple fact, okay, Lily Baragamo was a game he unveiled last year. I don't know when, when they used three, it was just last year. And they used it beforehand, they were just showing pictures, like slight pictures of about Lily Baragamo. It was just basically like they'd have this character, like she was kind of like in a straight jacket type outfit, and under there'd be like subtitles and being Japanese. But I found out what it said. It was translated as "Will you looking at commoner?" And like I said, it was like a female main character at the time, so it piqued my interest to some degree. Not because of that, but it did kind of pique my interest because I like Super 51's games because they're kind of outrageous and over the top and generally good to some degree so then they showed another picture of this like this female kind of like Shinobu from No More Heroes kind of most likely was her considering the whole white hair and the dark skin tone and everything else so I'm pretty sure it was Shinobu it was this in the red door and then they showed the sad same girl from the initial picture like in the rain just soaking wet that was the general basic basic thing they were talking about with Bergamo kind of the um, difference you would get from Lily Bergamo in tone and then they finally unveiled the trailer which finally showed the main character, which now had a name, I think it was Tai Ori or Tai, yeah, I think it was Tai Ori or something like that, and she was like crashing down this fiery place 
with series look on her face and then behind her this mechanical thing i guess it was like an ally or her power or something and then after that but after that the title screen of the drama but what set it apart was its graphics the graphics were just great it was like this was cell shading on next gen cell shading on next gen this is like I haven't seen anything that have done that yet the idea of the way it looked which is great it's like when I look at cell shading it's like to me in this sense it's like <laughs> anime meets cell shading pretty much anime meets cell shading so when I saw it, I was like, wow, this game looks good. This looks very good. N note that Lily Barriamo is still a PS4 exclusive. Even then. Even before it became Let It Die, it was still a PS4 exclusive. So I was like, obviously, I'm not saying I don't have a PS4. It's just, it's complicated because it's my brother's PS4. So I usually don't get anything for that. It's kind of his system. So yeah. Uh, but still, the game intrigued me. It looked interesting. So, then we go a year, about half a year, without hearing anything about Willy Bergama after that. So, that's, well, <laughs> that was the basic idea about Willy Bergama. And then, popped up at E3. They talked about Let It Die. Somebody asked, well, whatever happened to Willy Bergamo? He said, well, Willy Bergamo transforms into Let It Die. And the main character, I guess Tayori is no longer there anymore. Nope. She said she was a prototype character. She's gone. And to me, when they showed the trailer for Let It Die, it just, it just looks different. And all in all, I'm not bashing the game. It's just, it looks different. And I feel like, these, why couldn't these things have been two different games? Like, why couldn't they just be two different games? I mean, Let It Die looks like a departure from the normal tone that Suda51 usually goes, and it does. The tone even sets it apart. Usually, and I mean, the artwork is actually more realistic in that sense in Let It Die than it was when they announced it back around like 2013, 2000, early 2014, when it was Lily Bergamo. It was different. It was tone was different. It just look a little bit more serious. I don't know if it's still over the top. I, we've yet to see it. I haven't really seen any gameplay videos of it. It might be some, but I haven't seen any. So, yeah. And the fact that, like, why couldn't these things be in two different games? Like, Lily Bergamo, to me, had the potential of being a great game. Not to say that Lady well, Die doesn't, but, uh, like, how many free to play games are really that successful? Or even that good? I mean, seriously, like, free-to-play games, to me, are good at first, but why are they free-to-play games? I feel like there's a reason why they're free-to-play games. Like, to me, they feel like they weren't good enough to make it into the retail market. Excuse me. That's why. I feel like it couldn't make it into the retail market. And free-to-play games still require you to buy certain items for, you know, a slight price. But, I mean, Lily Bergamo had potential. That's basically what I'm saying. Lily Bergamo had so much potential, I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm not going to be judgmental about this, this dumb decision. I can't even get my fucking words out right now. I'm not even going to be judgmental about it because, you know, that's how they handle business. That's what they do. I think, I just feel like, like they just led us into something that it wasn't going to be. Shit, and then, then I, back then I looked at other things, things about, they said, like, um, Shadow of the Damned. They said how Shadow of the Damned was initially called Koreami. So I think that's Black God. Yeah. Koreami, Black God. And how it was different than what Shadow of the Damned was. And I'm like, first, but Anytime I go try to look up a video for Koreami, there isn't a video for it. There's not even a screenshot for Koreami. Opposed to this, 
and Koryami, Shadow of the Damned, they didn't release anything for Koryami before it became Shadow of the Damned. They didn't. When when it became Shadow of the Damned, gameplay videos, screenshots, everything. Lily Buragamo, oh, here, here's the little picture of Lily Buragamo. Here's this picture of Shinobu in Lily Buragamo. And then, here's Let It Die. Oh, where's Lily Buragamo? This is Lily Buragamo now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like you developed the game, started off with one thing, and just led into another thing. <laughs> I'm not saying the game's gonna fail. By no means am I saying the game's gonna fail. No. The game could do very well, you know. But, you know, it's just my opinion on it, though. It's like, because it looked, Lily Bergama looked great. I don't even know what the direction of what it went. I would have, like, enjoyed seeing a gameplay video before it became Let It Die. I would have had a little bit of closure, you know, so I could actually move on seeing how the gameplay was and then having the, how would I about to say, having that closure to know that that has been put behind and replaced with this. But, <laughs> Well, Lily Burakamo really never got to see the light of day before he got turned to let it die. That's all we, I can really say. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's all I really got to say. Um, kudos to Suda51 for for uh, let it die. Ho I hope it does successful. Um, I think that's a great game all in all. I just think Lily Burakamo could have been an excellent game. But, you know. Opinions, opinions, opinions. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, then it's like, it's kind of like saying, you see a game, it's kind of like, <laughs> I gotta put it, <laughs> it's kind of like when Metal Gear was first shown, like Metal Gear Solid Rising, like when it got first shown, in a sense. They showed it how how it was the beginning. It was just like very slow paced. It wasn't nearly as action packed as what Metal Gear Solid Revengeance was, or just Metal Gear Revengeance was. It was slow, so precise. They said there were more. I think it was like human enemies in it, but um, they said that they couldn't really do it, so they just quietly, as they quietly canceled. Metal Gear Rising, I guess because they couldn't really find a good way, but then, out of the blue, Platinum Games saved it. Yes, the same team behind Devil May Cry, well, with the same people that made Devil May Cry, and Beautiful Joe, and Bayonetta, they could save this game. And sure enough, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Revengeance was a great game, all in all. So, I mean, the same treatment could be, like I said, it could be saying about Super 51, a game that was developed and then slightly changed. Because, like I said, like I was saying, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Rising was kind of slow and precise. Metal Gear, Metal Gear Revengeance, fast-paced, still kind of precise, but just more fast paced to the point action and Zandatsu still lives on in that game the same way he did in the initial trailer Zandatsu 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 so yeah but you know that's all I really have to say about Lily Burgamo and stuff um subscribe to my channel like my videos comment put something in my discussion bin seriously cause I don't I don't see enough discussion like period i don't see nothing actually personally but yeah comment like my videos put something in my discussion man because i really look at like a other tons of people's thing and i don't see anything in the discussion man so that's all i have to say um follow me you yeah, follow me on twitter nickarice26 um like my facebook page nick the bandit and yeah, that's about pretty much it for people. Yep, so I catch you guys later.